What? So I think it's safe to say that comic books are a dying art. Either they've moved to the internet or the franchises involved do a lot better with movies and TV shows compared to the comic books. Of course, there are diehard comic fans, but for someone like me, I hadn't bought any real comic books in at least five or six years. But then one day I found this. Maybe some of you have no idea who this is, but this man, or lion, is Snagglepuss. Snagglepuss is a Hanna-Barbera cartoon character. The same company that made cartoons like Scooby-Doo, Quick Draw McGraw, Yogi Bear, The Flintstones, Dexter's Laboratory, and many other cartoons that were tremendously popular from the 1960s through the 1990s. Hanna-Barbera eventually got acquired by Warner Brothers, who also now happen to own DC Comics. So apparently they've decided to make Hanna-Barbera comics as well. Now, why on earth would this channel of all places make a video on Snagglepuss the Lion? because it's really good and actually history related. So looking at the comic, you can see it's given the characters realistic looking depictions compared to how they looked from the original cartoon. Also, it's set in 1950s America. Already the idea of a Snagglepuss comic got my attention, but why is it set in the 1950s when it's before the cartoon? It turns out the comic actually goes through a historical story that is often overlooked the Red Scare. In 1950s America, while the Cold War was going on, we got really paranoid about anything communist. There was the worry that spies were everywhere, the usual, what if they're corrupting the children, scare, and the idea that we needed to purge anything un-American from the spotlight. The problem is, we went a bit too far. We would ask famous actors, playwrights, and authors to make pro-American works and anti-communist propaganda. While some went along, many artists didn't like the idea of being forced to make something. If an artist was just making basic comedic plays, why would they want to be forced to make political ones? But if an artist refused, they were blacklisted, meaning their career was essentially ruined. Similarly, if there was an artist that was deemed un-American, he'd be tried as a communist and also be blacklisted. The House of Un-American Activities unfortunately ruined the careers of thousands of people. Snagglepuss in the comic is a southern playwright. He is approached by the House of Un-American Activities to make anti-communist propaganda, but he doesn't want to. He's not a political playwright and he's against the idea of having his art being controlled by someone else. But the problem is, he has to tread lightly over the matter because he's also gay. Now, before you say anything, no, this isn't SGW propaganda or liberal pandering, because Snagglepuss was already gay. Yes, the cartoons never said anything, because that wasn't something you talked about on 1960s TV, but he was very much implied to be gay. He had the stereotypical lisp, he was pink, and he enjoyed plays. I even asked my grandpa about it, and he said it was kind of the unspoken joke that he was gay. So for this comic to actually have him be gay is quite a bold idea, especially because in the 1950s in America, being homosexual was one of those things that was deemed un-American. So now, Snagglepuss has to worry about having his career ruined forever. He already has a fake wife, basically someone who knows he's gay and doesn't care, but they marry so she can have a stable living and he can appear to not be gay in public. But what makes this comic great is all the nods of the many other issues of the 1950s, even besides blacklisting. There was also Hollywood culture, the communist uprising in Cuba, Khrushchev and Nixon meeting together, and so many other things that truly make this comic one of the most unique ways of presenting history of 1950s America. I won't reveal more because I don't want to spoil the story, but there's also other Hanna-Barbera characters throughout the series, or rather mini-series as the storyline is only six issues long, but I highly recommend it if you can find it. I never thought I'd say this, but Snagglepuss is one of the best characters of 2018. I'm Emperor Tiger Star, and I'll see you guys next time.